Hi one, hope you are doing well from wherever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, Raila Odinga and uh, William Sameruto have been um, associating closely. They have been uh, supported severally in uh, various occasions, sitting together, talking, exchanging ideas. And uh, as all this is developing, Kenyans are also reacting on the same. And uh, if you try to check the reaction from Kenyans, Majority of Kenyans are not comfortable with that move, especially those who support ideas of Raila Amolo Dinga. And of course, the other time I saw Bungela Wanainchi issuing a statement. And if you listen to what they are talking about, it is in agreement with the, the views of many Kenyans as far as their concern, uh, between their concern on a Ruto Raila engagement as of late. And then Nuno Kwanga issued a statement. In his statement, he is very clear. He has several reasons why he believes that Raila Odinga should not go into something close to handshake with William Ruto or associate himself with Ruto's government. Okanga Bado, the diet was mio. Okanga Bado and Atambua, Raila Molo Dinga, come president work. The fifth. Okanga Bado Aogopi. Atu Tishwi. Mimi Nataka Nyambia Ruto. Kwa sababu naona umeanza kubembeleza baba na mnai na mnai e, Mahali baba umesikia baba na kuja mpira umekuja pale Unacheka cheka na ye na mnai na mnai Tunataka tuambie baba Usisalimia hii ndiyo round ya mwisho kusalimia ruto Ni ukweli Hii mpira hiwa ya mwisho kukaa na ruto Bado mazungumuzo inaendelea Na kama we umeamua kutembea na ruto Tuambie mapema Mime kama ukanga nitaka upinzani Hii kama menda atuwezi support Kama menda ambayo imefanya maulio zi zimepanda Kama menda imefanya kondomu zimepanda Kama menda imefanya unga imepanda Kama menda imefanya wasichana awaweki makeup Kama menda inatoza ushuru nywele Kama menda inatoza ushuru makucha Baba wende kuungane na ruto juwele Utakuwa unatakia nini wa Kenya? Utakuwa unatakia nini wa Kenya? Kama Raila Molo Dinga utaungane na hii government kusema ukweli. Utakuwa umesalite wa Kenya milion 40. Auze Kenya tupe pesa yetu. Na nikimalizia nataka niambie watu wa Central. Jana mulionyesha umaarufu kwa kukaribisha baba kule kwa Kashagwa Kashagwa alikuwa amepanga magunz lakini alishangaa baba ni simba kivyake wananchi oi 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 Alete dawa Nigeria. Hallelujah. Akusalimia kwa mkono. Uende hadi cheki. Hatutaki. Ruta atapigia msichana wake Nigeria alete dawa. <laughs> na tunajua Nigeria kuna wachawi mingi. Ukweli. Sisi hatutaki utembee na Ruto. Kinafueneka. Tembea peke yako. Msichana yake amelewa na. Tumekataa katakata. Mimi kama ukanga nimepinga. Hata mimi wacha niambie. Matanga ilikuwa jana na mkawa na Ruto. Ruta akakungojea ukaenda Nyayo Stadium, Ruta akakufata, leo amesikia unakuja mpira ya gor, amejileta mwenyewe. Hakuna mtu amemuita na hakuna siku Ruta ameshaona Dabi. Kwa nini amekuja leo? Hata ndiye amefanya gori kapigwa. Ruta ndiye amekuja na hiyo swara. Ruta ajai kuja mpira ya Dabi. Ajai. Ruto amefanya gori akanyeshewa. Asandeni sana. Amen. Now we are continuing with the panel discussion by just a quick request for those who are watching and you have not subscribed please consider subscribing to the channel subscribe so much thank you so much and again to all our viewers please give this video a thumbs up thank you so much and back to this discussion now the truth is that up to now Raila Odinga is yet to publicly <laughs> uh, refer to William Ruto as the president that means he is yet to accept Ruto as the president he just called him Mr. William Ruto. As simple as that. 
or if not atamwele ile majina yengine kama kwa campaign ama kama kwa kwa, kwa rally <laughs> so that one it is still standing he is yet to officially recognize Ruto and in as much this is happening we are seeing now Ruto and Raila are starting to embrace each other but the big question is that if these two are going to work together or if they're going to uh, to 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 see their differences what will happen to the current economic situation in this country those are the issues that bungele wananchi is talking about and they are pointing out several issues the cost of living in terms of unga it is very high today now ruto is coming to tax the the saloon makeup Brace, wig, ile nails, nakupaka makucha, everything. He's putting more tax on that. And you can imagine how many salon has employed people in, in, in Kenya. So many youth have been engaged in uh, saloon services and they are earning a living from that. The more you make it expensive, the more now you reduce people who are going to use that service. Because once the service become unaffordable, when it is too much expensive, then it means consumers' uh, consumption will go down. And that means the market goes down. And in that way, people are going to lose job opportunities. Kwa sababu, kupika tax biashara kama ya ya saloon. Nisawa na kama kibaki angaweka tax kwa wale watu wa kuleta eh, wale watu wa kuuza pikipiki Kenya today we will not be having the booming boda boda business the only thing Ruto could have done is to remove taxes on that because this is a business that is actually touching largely on the youth so for you to make sure that youth are busy in such kind of business let this product eh, be zero taxed then from there you target the market Saloon is takuwa more, and once we have more saloons, then in that way, they will come for permit. So because they are offering services, they have customers, they will pay taxes. That the same way, border border is booming. So they are talking about that. You come to the issue of um, uh, taxing the fuel. Now, today we have <laughs> new, uh, th- th- there, is, there is a VAT that is coming on fuel. It's going to be 16%. Imagine we are talking about 18, sorry, 8, which seemingly it is just high. But now the question is, what if Raila will go into some arrangement with Ruto? Who will speak for the people in terms of high cost of fuel? It means this government is not working. It is oppressing people. And therefore, if the government is oppressing people, Raila Odinga associating with such kind of government, it means he's, he's now... Um, joining oppressors to oppress Kenyans. So in that way, he will carry also the burden of this government. Just the same way, in every failure that happened in Uhuru Kenyatta's government, you see they were saying, Hansha came in and this and that happened. So, because this government seemingly it is oppressing Kenyans, if Raila will join or anyone who joined that government, you will take part of the blame. So, Bungala Wananchi is believing that Raila will carry the blame of this government. Anything that will fail, he will be part and parcel of that baggage. So, to distance themselves from this, it is better he avoid that kind of arrangement, not unless it is coming through the bipartisan dialogue, which will explain way forward eh, on the agreement on issues that Azimio had raised. Because they were very clear. Cost of living. So if Raila is engaging with Ruto Direct and we are seeing cost of living going high, it means big problem. But in that bipartisan talk, it is on the table as number one. They have to discuss cost of living. In one hand, dialogue is going on. Cost of living is part of the discussion. But we are seeing a government that is saying we are bringing 16% tax. This is one of the reasons why 
Bunge la Wananchi is believing that Raila should not go into that direction. Again, even those who voted for William Ruto, they are very afraid in case there will be some arrangement between William Ruto and Raila Odinga to see the ground in terms of the position that Azimia was holding to. Because already, and I saw, uh, we have shared some of the videos here, you could see, we have people in Rips Valley also who are saying that, okay, we voted for this government, but we never anticipated for this. We were told we are voting for bottom up. But it's no longer bottom up. Instead, the most targeted people are those who are down to earth. Pyramid meweka chini kule. Those are at the bottom of the pyramid. Those are the people who are going to carry the heavy burden of taxes in this country. Sababu ruta ameleta tax paka jikoni. Leo hii ana tax kerosene. Kerosene ni mafuta ambayo ametumika na maskini wa chini kupika kwa sababu wanatumia stove. They cannot afford even gas. He's bringing a tax there. Ameongeza 15 shillings per liter. Look at that. So, if there is no one who will st stand in the gap and speak for the people, then people are going to suffer in this country. There will be no voice for the people. Because even if you have your voice, you need a leader who will lead that group. The leader here has been Raila Odinga. So, in as much as we will be having people who are willing, but in, my, in as much as they are willing even to take you to the street, to demonstrate, they will need a leader whom when he speak, the government listens. And if they don't listen, he forced them to listen. Through what? Mass action. So, in conclusion, the government is so much oppressive to the people. It is ant people. The taxes they bring, it is ant people taxes. So all of that is enough reason for Ella Odinga not to work with this government. I'm just saying what people are saying. I don't know your views, but let us meet in the comment section for continuation of this conversation. Thank you, and see you in our next video. Na jie, sabah zimafunguliwa. Sababu, in as much people are talking, what they are asking for is, servers should be open, and the end game should be, uh, they need to have a forensic audit of those servers.